I haven't done a video about my hair since I had some of my looks chopped off and I actually had probably a good five inches or so off of my hair. There was a day when I could like touch my belly button with it and do all these crazy things with it. It was really, really super long. And then I kind of got it cut like gradually and gradually and now it's more of a like mid-length. I can't believe I didn't do it sooner because it is so much easier to maintain and do stuff with and I can just kind of wash it and go and not have to really style it too much. As a quick side note, my hair is quite on the oily side, it gets quite greasy, especially at the roots, but sort of quite normal at the ends, um, so I have to use quite clarifying things to wash it. And I did have colour on the ends of it, but they've really toned it down, so it still does have colour in it, but it's really just at the ends now, so I don't have too much. But the first thing I do to my hair before I wash it is give it a good brush, and for that I use my good old Tangle Teaser, I've been using this for over a year now, and I just think it's awesome, even though I've got shorter hair now, I still think it's amazing, my hair still gets quite tangly, especially where I wear like scarves and things like that, it gets quite knotty at the back. But this is just amazing, my sister got it as a present for me for Christmas, like over a year ago now, and I've used it basically every day since. It is fantastic, whether you have short hair or long hair, they're also fantastic for getting volume, if you like brush in the opposite direction, they're fantastic for actually putting tangles into your hair as well as teasing them out. But before I wash my hair, I just let it down and give it a good brush. And I'm sure I read somewhere a very, very, very long time ago that brushing your hair before you wash it loosens the dirt. So therefore you'll get more of a, more efficient clean when you do clean it. So I do that before. And then I tend to do my hair over the side of the bath. I don't really know why I do that. It's just how I've always done it. And I don't like really getting the rest of my body wet while I'm washing my hair. I don't know, I just like to do one thing at a time, concentrate on one thing at a time. And the shampoo that I'm using at the moment is one that, again, I've spoken about a million times before, and it's the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. I think this is probably my third or fourth bottle of the stuff. I flit away to other things, and then I always come back to this, because it is just so clarifying, super amazing on my hair. I just find that when I use this, my hair tends to last longer without needing another wash. So I only really wash my hair sort of twice a week, really. You're only supposed to use this once a week and it's not good for coloured hair, but because I've got a really small amount of it on now, I just tend to concentrate it more at the roots just to really stud it up and then I just let it run through the ends. But this is amazing, especially if you need, if you're on the market for a clarifying shampoo, I've tried quite a few and this is the best that I've found. You need a tiny, tiny amount, suds up super loads, and then I just rinse it out and then I'm ready for conditioner. Now, I've explained with conditioner before that I'm a bit of a flirt when it comes to conditioner and I try quite a few different things and I never really settle with one and I've been trying Red Ken ones, I tried the All Soft one which was nice but didn't warrant a repurchase. Um, I tried their volumizing one which again was nice, I've tried Bumble and Bumble ones like the thickening one, I've tried lots of different ones but I've just never really found one that I thought was worthy of a repurchase and so at the moment I'm using the Orbe conditioner for magnificent volume and anything that I've tried from this brand I've just been super impressed with. There's a few other bits as well which you will see later on but this is a lightweight conditioner and I tend to go for more lightweight conditioners because then it doesn't weigh down my hair. That's the one thing I'm finding now it's shorter. I have to be quite careful to use really lightweight things in the ends because otherwise it can just end up looking a bit strandy and PC and a bit strange but this does the job and before I put my conditioner in, I actually squeeze a lot of the water out of my hair because otherwise it's still got loads of water in it, the conditioner's quite like less concentrated. So, so just squeeze it out and then put a hefty sized dollop of this in, doesn't need a lot, but it smells super nice, like all Bobay hair care just smells like a perfume, it's, it's amazing, it smells unlike anything else. I squeeze all the water out of my hair and then just whip it up in a towel and I kind of tend to leave it like that for five to ten minutes and I just find it gets the worst of the dampness out of my hair and then I sit down and instead of rubbing it crazy like a crazy lady I just pat it I sort of like squeeze it out squeeze the water out through the towel trying not to mess up the hair follicle too much because when you go like that your hair can end up looking a wee bit frizzy once you've dried it so I sort of pat all the hair out squeeze all the hair out and then I go back through again with tangle teaser just getting out all any knots that I've made during washing and I just feel like if I've got all the knots out, then I can go move on to styling and feel quite good about it. So I do sometimes use this as well, and it's the Denman Dressing Out Brush, and this is fantastic for volume later on in the process, but has a tail end on the other side, so I try and find 
some sort of parting with the end of this just so it's not looking too all over the shop but this um, brush comes in super super handy. Then onto styling things and I never used to be one for styling products at all. I used to do my shampoo, my conditioner and then maybe add a bit of like hairspray on at the end. I was really not into this. I just didn't really find anything that I found particularly worked for me that amazingly but I have a few things now that I use while my hair is still damp before I blow dry it and I feel like it just makes the whole process so much easier. I barely touch my hair between wash to wash. I just do my styling bits before I blow dry it and then sort of last like two, three days with a bit of bit of touching up here and there, but I don't really have to do that much. And the first thing I use is something I've spoken about before and it's the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. This is basically a primer for your hair and I put about a walnut sized dollop in between my hands and then just smooth it through my hair, starting at the roots, working my way down all the way into the ends and just smooth it all over. And this is supposed to help your know, products that you use afterwards really adhere to your hair that little bit better and also it's supposed to freshen up your hair for longer so I find that using the combination of this with the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo my hair can last like a good three days without looking too horrendous with a, the odd spray of dry shampoo here and there so I find it keeps my hair looking better for longer really helps the products that I use afterwards to stay in that little bit better and if I do decide to style my hair because most of the time I just leave it straight this is kind of how it looks just after it's been blow dried but sometimes I do put the odd curl in it with the GHDs and it makes that last longer too so an all round amazing product I really like that one if you haven't guessed by my little ramble and then I use the Red Ken Extreme Anti-Snap this is the leave-in treatment for distressed hair and this is like a heat protectant and a bit of a deep conditioner in one it's supposed to be really good for like to keep split ends and all that kind of stuff at bay. So I take two pumps of this in between my palms, rub them together again, and then just squidge this into like the ends of my hair and this just keeps everything looking quite healthy. And if I, if I use a load of heat afterwards, I don't feel too horrendous about it. I haven't got too much of a, of a uh, guilty conscience. So it smells like BNs. I've spoken about that before. It smells like strawberry BNs. It smells amazing. So I put that on the ends of my hair just to keep everything a bit soft and smooth and a bit in check because a lot of the other products that I use are really volumizing and quite drying. So that's my one conditioning step that I, I pop in just so I don't feel too bad. And then this I've had in my stash for a very long time, but recently I've just fallen in love with it and I use it every time I wash my hair now. And it's the Obey Volumista Mist for Volume. I've used a lot of volumizing sprays in my time. I love quite big hair or just hair that looks a bit, little bit fat. And this is amazing, it smells good, it smells like all the other Orbay products. I take around eight spritzes of this or so, just all around the crowd, it tends to go a bit crazy, and then I put two spritzes or so into my hand, rub them together, it's really liquidy, but I just work that through the front of my Just hair. so these bits at the front have a bit of extra added volume to them, but this just does what it says on the tin. I've used so many volumizing sprays where I can feel it in my hair and it feels all gritty or it feels sticky, and this doesn't feel anything. You can't feel it in your hair at all, it just makes your hair smell Pretty darn amazing, I look a little bit fatter than usual, so that gets a massive thumbs up from me, but just a really good invisible styling product for people who don't usually like styling products like myself. So once I've done all of that, then I go wild and blow dry my hair and sing along to whatever songs I want to sing so my neighbours can't hear me too badly, it's kind of muffled by the hairdryer, but just go through and I don't I don't do anything too precise when I'm blow drying, I just flip it on top of my hair, do it upside down for a bit. I, throw it all to one side and blow dry that way, throw it all to one side, dry it that way. And I find that just being quite carefree with it creates a bit of a disheveled look at the end, but I quite like that. Right at the end, I take the Denman dressing out brush just over the top layer to kind of calm it down just a tad so it doesn't look too wild. That's it, I sort of leave it like that until it next needs washing again with very little upkeep in between. The only thing I really do use in between, I don't really use dry shampoos these days, but if I do, there's a L'Oreal one, the name has escaped me right now, but I'll put it in the info box below. But that's quite a nice one that doesn't leave your hair too granny grey looking. <laughs> um, but the only other thing I do use in between washes is this, and it's the Orbay Dry Texturising Spray. I love this stuff. I wrote a whole ode to it on my blog, I will link it up below, but basically just saying, how blooming expensive it is, but how blooming amazing it is. So I will link that up below if you want to know more, but it just worked really nicely at adding a matte texture to the hair, volumizing the hair, but again, not feeling sticky or gross in the hair at all. Also smells amazing, Kel Supri, but that's just a really nice finishing touch if you want that 
like allocate moss bed head look. That's my current hair care routine in action. I really hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.